all of the problems from these videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link, and you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I upload to YouTube. In fact, on the website, there are over a hundred extra videos that I haven't uploaded to YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. Okay, let's get started with the problem. Let's take a look at problem 6-2-A. So this problem will have us doing the high-low method, scatter graph method, and least squares regression method of breaking our costs into their fixed and variable components. And why do we want to know the difference between, oh, this part of the cost is fixed and this cost is variable? Well, in module seven, we're gonna learn something called break-even analysis or CVP analysis, and it's really critical you, uh, for a company to know it's variable versus fixed cost. That's one of my favorite modules of the whole course, uh, but in order to do any of that work, we need to know, okay, here's how we break our costs down into their fixed and variable components. So uh, let's read through the problem and see how we do. Uh, Danny Office Supply shows the following data related to their shipping costs for the first six months of the year. Uh, and so we have uh, the first six months. And something uh, important to note is we have number of packages and shipping costs. Well, whenever we have cost data, when we're thinking about uh, graphing this, as we will be in a few minutes, this is our y-axis. And when we're thinking about activity level, as we will be in a few minutes, this is our x-axis. Now it says using the high-low method, estimate the cost formula, put it in the y equals mx plus b format, y equals mx plus b. Um, confusingly, a lot of textbooks put it in this formula, y equals a plus bx. It's really the same formula, just laid out differently. I prefer this because this is what if you've learned linear programming, this is the most commonly used formula. So when we're talking about uh, drawing a line, let me change ink colors, maybe I'll make it green. Um, when we talk about drawing a line, <coughs> Y just means how far up we're talking about on the vertical axis. So uh, uh, Y is just referring to how far up the vertical axis. The M is referring to the slope of the line x is referring to how far along the horizontal axis and the b is what we call the y intercept okay so that's uh if you're talking about drawing a line for your linear programming class or your algebra class in accounting it's a little bit different and this is i'm writing it in red this is what you'll really want to know for your class y is the cost it's always, you know, you can see shipping cost is charted to Y. Y is the cost of whatever we're looking at. M. Make a little more room. That's cost per unit. X is the activity level. And B is the fixed cost. And when we talk about cost per unit, that means variable. Oh, variable cost per unit uh, and per unit of activity I should say okay so using the high low method estimate the cost formula well, if you haven't seen high low method before here's how we do it we take the uh, I'll call it high cost minus low cost divided by high activity minus low activity. Now, this is a bit of a misnomer and I want you to be very careful. It's the cost associated with the highest activity point. And let me explain why. We find the high and low activity levels. Don't find the high and low cost. In fact, we ignore cost for right now. I'm not even gonna look. So where's my high activity level? Which month had the highest activity level? Well, that month was April. That's my high. Uh, my low activity level was June. There's my low. Okay, so I've got my high low. So, again, I don't worry about what the costs say. I'm going to use this data. I'm going to use April and June. Those are my two months that matter. 
Nothing else matters with the high-low method. So April and June are the only two months that matter. Now I take that high cost from April, uh, and so that's fifteen hundred dollars. I deduct the low cost from April, that is, or from uh, June rather. That's eleven hundred dollars. I divide by the high activity level from April, one thirty, minus the low activity level from April. 90. So $1,500 minus $1,100 divided by 130 uh, packages minus 90 packages. So 1500 minus 1100 is 400. 130 minus 90 is 40. $400 divided by 400 packages. My cost here is 10 bucks per package okay so what have we just done what have we just computed well remember we're trying to solve for this y equals mx plus b you know formula for a line we have just solved for m so we know our m now it's y equals 10x plus b my cost per unit right my cost per unit of activity my activity level here is the packages shipped so my cost per package shipped is my m my m is 10 bucks per package shipped okay well that doesn't really give me my formula for a line though because i need to, to i have still have another variable unsolved and the unsolved variable is the b variable so what can i do i can plug in either April or June data into my formula. I have to use either the high or low, doesn't matter which. So let's use the high. So I'm going to use April data and I'm going to plug it back into my formula. So again, my formula is y equals 10x plus b. In April, my y is $1,500. My x is $130. So in April, my y is $1,500. So I just replace y with $1,500. 10x, what was x? It was $130 plus b so 1500 equals 10 130 plus b 1500 equals 1300 plus b change this one over to that side so we're going to subtract it so it's 200 equals b so my b and remember what b is b is my fixed cost is 200 so y equals 10x because we know our m is 10 plus 200. There we have our formula for a line. This would be the answer to that part of the question. So the question asked, uh, express your formula in y equals mx plus b format. We've answered part A here, y equals 10x plus 200. The question goes on, it says, assuming in July the company expects to ship 150 packages, what's the uh, shipping cost going to be? Well, if in July I think I'm going to ship 150 packages, I just go y equals 10, the x is the uh, activity level, so uh, x is uh, 150 plus 200. 10 times 150, 1500 plus 200, y equals 1700. So if I'm planning for next month, this is a good planning tool, right? I can say, oh, well, next month I think I'm going to ship out 150 packages. Well, then I think my shipping cost is going to be $1,700. So that was the answer for part I. So we've done A and we've done AI. Uh, in our next video, we're going to move on and do a scatter graph. Stay tuned.